here we have all of our joists cleaned off of all the glue um, I've pulled out all of the excess nails all the way through we'll need to clean a piece on here this borer has actually eaten through quite a bit of this joist here as well and if we go back one you can see the borer damage is horrible along this one So bore is just woodworm and comes into there with the timber. You used to always come in with the old OB. Um, OB being ordinary builder's timber. And this one here, so we've cut up the whole floor section in here just so we could expose this side. And have a struth almighty. Look at that. Oh, it's just turned to dust. Yeah, oh, sorry. yeah, look at that. Right. So you can see just here how they've travelled through certain sections of the grain. Most of the time, this is probably one of the worst pieces I've ever seen, most of the time they follow up the sapwood vein. Here's a sapwood vein here. They usually just follow up the sapwood vein and they just demolish just the sapwood. They, they must have got into this when this was really quite wet when it was first laid to eat through it because right now it's way too hard for them to chew through. So this has been around for quite a while and they've really demolished it. So anyway, we'll replace this joist um, down to the next bearer all the way up here, we'll replace it with a nice piece of KD or treated pine. Um, treated pine because they're 450 centers and it's only going to be one of them. Borer can't get into treated pine. It's got um, chemicals and stuff in it that they just don't like. Now, in regards to this load bearing point here where this is snapped and all this plaster, has popped away. My feeling inclinations were right. Um, we got up into the roof space and we found right about here in the roof space, a big old school water tank. Uh, so that's why there's so much weight here. It's spreading, the water tank spreading from this wall here over to this wall here. And this is why we've got cracks coming through this wall here. Um, the ceiling's cracked, this doorway's popped. Uh, so what we're gonna do is come into here. We're gonna actually cut this ceiling section out and we're gonna bring the water tank through this ceiling section. All of our joists are running this way through here. We've propped this ceiling through here and we've got a hanging beam running through the center of the room right about here. We'll show you that all tomorrow. We just don't have enough light up in the roof space to, at the moment, to show you what's going on. Stay tuned. I will finish off these joists, uh, finish cleaning them all up. We'll clean everything from under the floor and we'll get rid of it.